I've been lied to 27 years of my life. Why? <laughs> so listen, bro. <laughs> He's getting his phone out. My whole life, bro. <laughs> my mom has told me I'm Native American. Oh. Cherokee, Blackfoot, mixed. Native American. Yeah. My whole life, my, my fucking dumbass grandma would be like, come to the Okie Fanoki swamp. This, this is your heritage. This is your shit, right? I took a 23 and me yesterday. I am 99.2% European. Wow. I called my mom. I'm like, mom. Like Elizabeth Warren. You know what's crazy, bro? Is I told my mom a couple of days yeah. before it even came in. I was like, mom, as soon as this shit hits, like it was a joke. Yeah. My mom was like, DJ, I don't even know why the fuck you're taking that shit. Everyone fucking knows you're Cherokee. Right. My assistant is my witness. He was sitting right where we were making sweet tea. I was like, all right, bet. Came in, I'm 99% European. I wonder how they got that mixed up. I don't know, bro. My whole life, I was like, I wonder why we ain't never seen no check for no school or nothing. Mm. But I had cousins dropping out in the first grade. So I was like, I guess we ain't never had no motivation. I guess this shit not real. That's crazy. That's <laughs> fucked up. That must be such a weird thing to live with, though. Just bro, like I, every day for the past, how many days has it been, Denzel? Bro, every day for the seven years that Denzel's known me. Yeah, bro. He's Native American. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, that's what it is. And I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. Well, there's like a certain comfort in not just being a regular like ass Dirt. white person, right? No, like, bro. I'm pasty, bro. Yeah. I'm as pasty as it gets. I'm fucking, I am mayonnaise, right, bro. Right, but I've definitely, like, I remember this dude that I used to hang out with back when what? I was like 18, 19, and he was a quarter black. Oh, my God. You you couldn't pay this guy to go 10 minutes without mentioning it. And he just loved it. No, I was never like that. It. I was but, never like that. And it wasn't like, it was like he barely knew his dad. So it's not like he had any real like relationship to like any black people. But he <sighs> loved to emphasize it because it made him not white. And we were white. So it's like, there there is like a weird thing that happens with us sometimes. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking white, bro. God damn, bro. Fuck, bro. I've been, I've been known I was white. DC Young Fly asked me if I was black. I don't, that was a weird moment. Nah. I was like, I don't no. know, bro. I come from the South. I'm sorry. I'm All right. my friends are of color. Right. And so it's just crazy. But, I can't even say that. But no is more. that part of the, that's part of the internet money uh, <laughs> stereotype, right? Is that y'all just sign like every white kid with like blue hair or something? No, or? every mm. white kid with fucking glasses. You got some, glasses. some POCs now, right? But Shout out Lil Spirit, by the way. Lil yeah. Spirit, blue hair, my He's boy. He's the blue hair one, yeah. He's the blue hair kid. Is he He's sticking fire. with blue hair if he wants to switch his hair up? But that's like, him. No. I never told him to make his hair blue. Really? I never told him. He's always had blue hair. And he's the most talented artist in the music industry. I've searched high and low and I've found him. Mm. He's mine. So you tell them to make like to make TikToks, but do you tell them to like make? I don't tell them to do stream? anything. <laughs> you no, tell no, no, them no, no. like get on Twitch. He's trying to catch me in a loophole right Fortnite? here. This is what we like to call a loophole. <laughs> He's trying to catch me with, and I testify. If I had a fucking Bible, I'm not religious. I would put my right hand on that motherfucker. If the left hand, whatever, whatever mm. one it is, I do not tell them to do anything anymore. Right. They go do their shit, and they come to me like, "Yo, do you fuck with this?" Yeah. I like this. Maybe you shouldn't do this no more. Maybe this lane or the style, of these type of beats, mm. the the content you're writing your lyrics about. Maybe that's not what you should. You should wait until you get into that shit, a little darker, a little deeper. Well, do you feel like you're more effective when you sort of suggest it rather than when you like just tell them? Mm, bro, you gotta understand these new kids. They're like, tell me now, please. Fuck, I want to know mm. because they're just creatives. They don't care about like they care first about just making music, and they expect me to get the other shit handled mm. they're just creators bro they're fucking talented artists Interesting. and i feel like it all along these are the type of people i should have been fucking with uh, but when it comes to something like spirit like he has a huge song does it feel weird that it's still hard to make people understand that he's gonna be huge in your perspective because mm. people don't really want to accept it I, until think, it's I think the crazy stigma behind spirit is like everybody knows that he's gonna be like on mm. Like, before I assigned him, bro, I was getting, he didn't have no team. You know what I mean? Like, I was the team. Mm. Before I decided to sign him and we did all this shit, we worked everything out. And he has a manager and he has all that shit on his own team. And it's divided. And we work well together. It was just me and him. Mm. And labels, the CEO of these labels, big labels, massive labels, the biggest labels in the game, were FaceTiming me. Hey, man, Grammy weekend's coming up. Can we get, can we get, can we get a look at him? Can we see if he's fired? Can you play some unreleased music? Can you share the notes app with me? All this shit. So it's like, I feel like now everyone's just like, he might have one now. Uh-huh. Cause like they seen Tekka shit slip through my fingers. They seen the Juice shit slip through my fingers. Mm. The Trevor shit I had. And it's like, 
thief in the night. <laughs> so, but yeah, I feel like I finally I got one. I got a couple of them. Yeah. Alec Wigdahl's fire. He's a pop artist. Turbo's fire. Two rares fire. He's like a rapper out of Philly. Uh -huh. Tekka, I still work very close with Tekka. I don't I don't need Tekka to be signed to me to work with him. Like I'm very happy in the position I am with him. Right, definitely. Do you uh do you like the idea of getting like your favorite artists to come through the crib to record at the crib? Does that happen often? Is that even a focus? Or are you happy to just be in your, your little gang? I feel like if it's meant to be, it'll be. I'm from Florida, so my whole life, bro, I grew up looking and idolizing like T Pain. Wow. T-Pain's God to me Still even to this day We had a studio session And where this man T-Pain Just had to get ready For an award show right. And he didn't really have time To listen to the music But we were just cool in there Laughing with him Chopping it up And I never looked at that Like I ain't gonna make music With T-Pain mm -hmm. That's kind of crazy It was like a year but, ago That T-Pain was saying That he was gonna start OnlyFans And I was telling him That I was gonna cop it And then he <laughs> never did it But meanwhile Safari now has an OnlyFans which I'm gonna cop. T Pain's a legend. I'm You're gonna copy. cop Safari's OnlyFans. You gotta do it right it. now for proof. No, I don't have it on my phone. I gotta do it on my laptop. I gotta see it right now. No, but I don't think he's gonna be showing the the the, the full Anaconda. There's no Whoa! way. There's no way. Yo, I just don't think he would do it. But I'm gonna pay for it. I'm fine. It's twenty one dollars. It's twenty one. My man Safari out here. Alex's was uh, fifty dollars. I, I bought. I that. don't even. I don't even think about OnlyFans. Right. No, I, that was my first one getting alien. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You should up. sign her. Bro, come you know? on, bro. Come on. She got face tats. I'm I'm sure she's doing her thing. She got I don't, a fucking poem on her face. Why bro, not? shout out to whoever. I, I don't I don't I don't clown people, bro. Like I don't look at people and like laugh at them for doing their thing. That even if I don't work with them, it's not like fuck them. I still do my thing. They do their thing and I'm sure what they're doing is working for them. Right. We gotta like, get you to sign some street artists. We gotta get you somebody from South Central. I'm down for whatever. Like okay. I, I could work with any artist, bro. Okay. I don't. I don't know why people think like I only pick a certain type of artist. But does like, that freak you out if they're gang banging on the side? Bro, I come shit? from Northside, Jacksonville, Florida, bro. Down Avenue. I lived there my whole fucking life. My mom lived in a fucking hood. Right, but you didn't. My mom. My mom had you fucking. Ain't no hood artist, bro. Right? It doesn't matter. My friends like all this shit, bro. Like this is nothing, bro. Right. Okay. People just I want to because see I'm now a, I'm now newly acclaimed pasty. They want to try. I want to see you sign like a young because boy I'm, style I'm young artist. olive mayonnaise over here. Now there's like a whole thing. It's like a young boy style artist. Young boy so that popular that there's around. like young boy. Whenever type you artists. had a label, they wanted you to fucking do a Kodak black ass artist. They wanted you to do you to do. I would like NBA to sign a boy. Kodak black ass artist. That's what they that's, that's what they what classify them as. Even now they're like yeah. In, in Florida, there's two lanes. There's Kodak Black, or if they're closer to fucking near Tallahassee and up near New Orleans, they're like Young Boy. Hmm. There's no if more they're Atlanta, pumps. they're like Young Thug. There's no more Low Pumps. There's no more X's. There's no more SoundCloud rappers. I mean, SoundCloud bro, that's rap Miami. Day? Miami's its own fucking thing. I don't, I don't really classify. <laughs> right. <laughs> Miami is. I'm from North Florida. That's like to people in Jacksonville. Miami's six hours away. Yeah. So it's like Different it world. doesn't exist to it's us. It's like the Bay to us. Yeah. Duval County. Free Tankhead. <laughs> Free Tank A. Tankhead and TK, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was saying Tankhead. I thought you said TK. Damn. Shout out TK, though. Free TK. Just saying that makes me realize that I got some crazy ass friends. I never right. met TK. Or, uh, uh, it's TK. Sorry. I'm saying TK. I know. I know. TK I thought you said TK. TK, TK, Tankhead. This is all very confusing. I know too many people. 10K. Cash. 10K Cash. Good, great guy. Great guy. You should work love, with him more. I, There's I a hood artist. He's, is he hood? <laughs> bro. <laughs> turn him into that young That is boy. my boy right there. You know what? Get why? him on a diet my, and turn him no, into young boy. No, <laughs> I don't need to. I don't get my man cash on no diet, bro. Oh, listen, bro. This is how I know he's a real one. Because me and him are both bigger guys, right? Mm. And then I'm over here smoking. I'm talking to Denzel, right? And then me and Denzel is going off about nothing. 10K cash is sitting over here. And we don't look. We don't see him in our periphery or nothing. We just hear, like, sweaters. Like, doing this shit. We look over this motherfuckers. Oh, oh, hitting that bitch. It's a different respect. He really be doing his dancing shit. Mm. Like on the way to the bathroom, he be dancing. Did you know about the Tusi kid before the Tusi slide came out? I did not. I found out. I'm about so him in afterwards. the fucking mix, bro. You like, are okay. So you. Know. I, I'm, well, I mean, bro, I've been in the house since November. So I went to Guitar Center when I moved in. I got weirded out. A producer kneeled to me and called me God in front of the whole Guitar Center. Wow. So from that moment, that's why I quit wearing. Jewelry. I didn't want to be noticed, and I didn't care. Wow. 
So that's why I haven't left the house. I was thinking about that the other day. I'm like, am I going to get to the point where I want to be noticed more? I'm going to start buying jewelry so that people know. You did that more? already. I had a chain. For you had like the 22 a, you chain. Know, you had the grills. Out. Remember the fucking grills? You remember the grills? For like two days. My yeah. man had the grills. Couldn't he had the do tri- it. You had the trippy grills. Listen, you were going crazy with the grills. As cool as a grill looks, it's not <laughs> worth your teeth hurting a little bit and having to take it out to eat I, I just, i'm way too practical a person i almost wore the golds up here i literally was i was like i should put on for florida i should wear my golds do they hurt your teeth at all no i could wear my golds flawlessly legendary moment top 10 moment in soundcloud rap history is when icy narco came on the podcast and he had just gotten his grill put in and mm-hmm. it was like he's still talking funny because he just got put in and yeah. it's like just sounded crazy <laughs> He's a good guy, though. Shout out to Icy Narco. Good guy. Florida. Florida boy. Another Florida boy. <laughs> Did you see the guy who got let out of jail because of the coronavirus? And he killed, and somebody? killed somebody? That's Florida, too. <laughs> That's Florida, too. Whatever that guy did to him, it must have been some real he ass shit. He was waiting. That's well, some law abiding citizen but shit. But who knows, man? Like Some crazy shit. If you just have to go right back to the hood where you came from, and who knows what kind of dirt they got. You're here. Are you seeing this? You might just be right back into the fucking warfare. If you got to go back to the hood where you came from, <laughs> fucking sound like goddamn Adam Scheffner over <laughs> Even here. Taz Taylor is saying that I'm According too white. According to my sources, <laughs> he got white. out and went back to the I hood where he's from. I can't believe your pasty ass is called me white. <laughs> This is like getting roasted for being white by. Uh, I'm not gonna, all right, I no, was definitely no. that Pull motherfucking boy. I'm not going to say the thing I was just about to say. Could have been offensive. Lay it on me. Uh, coronavirus is. I mean, obviously, you're on the production side. Don't fuck up your money. But if you're probably yeah. seeing a lot of artists, though, who are like, damn. Hurting. Tons of money gone. On our side? Green grassy. The grassy. It's all good. The grassy, even. A lot, of, lot, of, a lot of money coming through, a lot of money coming in. Oh, that's good. People, more, people more time in the studio music. is good for you. For you, touring is kind of a, a pain in yeah, the ass to deal with, I don't, right? I don't think about touring. Like, for artists and shit, obviously, it sucks. And I know artists that are, we're counting on tours and shit to go on. Mm. And now they ain't getting money from them tours. And I know that, like, that's a very big, important, like, revenue, st- revenue stream for artists. Mm. But, like, on my side and shit that I got to deal and sit with, like, it doesn't really affect people on my side. Mm. We, don't, we don't deal with that. We deal with, nice. We'll give you a hit while this coronavirus shit going on. So whenever you this shit lifts, you can go fucking tour it. Taz Taylor quarantined in the mansion. In the mansion, three studios. Diamonds dancing. <laughs> no, no diamonds. <laughs> sitting, sitting somewhere, right. untouched, dusty. Really. Big dust. You I moved my diamonds to my bedroom. You gotta have a safe at least, right? Yeah, I have a safe. Okay, good. I moved my shit and I was like, wow, I don't even know the last time I put these bitches on. Right. I spent like two, three hundred thousand dollars on jewelry before. Right. So it's like, once you get to a point, bro, and just like. Fuck that. It gets a hassle. You got to wear them every fucking wear. They get heavy. How could I put $200,000 worth of jewelry on myself when I know for a fact that I know people that realistically would probably kill someone for $200,000? I don't think like about like that. Like a lot of people. No, I don't think a about lot, like that. Like a lot of people would kill someone for two hundred grand. I mean, yeah, bro. But not me. But I don't look like at like that. I don't look at like that. Maybe 10 years ago. Not me, but like someone who was in my position. Definitely. So Maybe that, bro. that to me, I'm not. No, I don't want that risk. Northside Jacksonville, Duval County. Right. Definitely, a lot of people out there would kill someone for two hundred grand. It's not even a question. It's yeah. not even a stretch. It's, it's not. A, it was a murder capital, of Florida. Pretty much my whole childhood, bro. Shit was crazy out there. Pretty Joe Exotic. <laughs> he was in Oklahoma, bro. Joe Exotic would have got. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Joe Exotic could have brainwashed people from Florida like that, bro. Like live in a fucking trailer I wonder for a hundred bucks. If Joe Exotic was already in PC and then they had to put him in PC, because I'm gonna be honest with you, he's someone who seems like they would flourish in protective custody. Maybe, bro. He did you see where I just seen something today where he told some judge he's like, I'm all locked up with no access to a computer. Yeah. That's crazy. And meanwhile, that's like his last wish is he just wanted to be famous, right? He, he finally probably is. sits on the phone all day having what people are they read comments to him. <laughs> <laughs> read me the new TMZ article. What? Read me that new blog. God you're damn it, me Barb. About. Read me the fucking article. What the fuck are they saying? I never, I never once killed one of them goddamn animals. I'll Ima- tell you that. Imagine someone on the phone with Joe Exotic explaining who Cardi B is and explaining that she is now bro, he, whenever, supporting he, him. He knows who Cardi B is, bro. Maybe. Whenever he no, got, got picked up there, on all that shit, he yeah. she was out. She was popping. Maybe, but he's been Bodak for a little Yellow while, was right? definitely thriving. Yeah, God, that must feel great for him. He, he knows who Cardi B is. She's a legend. He probably knows now for sure. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like it's just him. Like hundreds and thousands of different celebrities commentating on this that know who he is. Yeah. There's a lot of people. I, it's actually kind of crazy because if like there was never a Netflix show about it, mm. and just people who knew the situation, they would they would probably hate him. 
Oh yeah. But they the I don't want to say the TV show kind of like oh, yeah. glorified it, that, but there's people who definitely see his side of it and sympathize with him. The craziest thing about it is that Carol Baskin actually has like a real fan base. She has millions yeah. of Facebook fans and shit. And now and and let's be honest, probably a huge percentage of them are women. And now you have Cardi B, who is a like women's rights Saying, icon. Fuck that bitch, Carol Baskin. <laughs> That's crazy. Taking aim at her. I mean, hey, it's 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 a credit to the documentary maker because let's be real, like I don't know what happened. They could have made that shit look however the fuck they want it. And do- that's what they do. They make it look as dramatic as possible. While, while I was watching it the whole time, I'm like, where the fuck did they get this goddamn footage from? Yeah. Oh, that's the most amazing thing about it is the fact it's like that they, he, he was filming his whole like every single specific thing, they had footage for yeah, it. Yeah, because he was filming everything. Like, almost every documentary I watch after that, I'm sort of, like, noticing when they're just using, like, B-roll of, like, a sunset yeah. or, like, an empty courtroom and all this shit. Every problem, bro, they had the cameras yeah. rolling for every single issue in that documentary. I will never financially recover from this. I will never. <laughs> this is a goddamn antenna on back of my fucking shed. That's what this is. This is a goddamn listening device. Wow. Another classic interview in the books. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and head on over to nojumper.com to support. Appreciate y'all.